Hello and welcome to the latest in our series of installing the Simbel ringing hardware with the major simulator programs available at this time. Today we're going to look at ABLE. Now ABLE is available for purchase from www.ablesim.co.uk and this is probably the most popular uh, simulator currently on the market and today we're going to set it up uh, for use with the Simbel hardware. So we've installed the program which we downloaded and we have now got the initial screen and a obligatory tip of the day. And this is our usual screen. We can see the, uh, the ropes and we are set for an 8 bell configuration. Uh, we will show you briefly how to change these towards the uh, end of the video. So to set up the simulator hardware we have a symbol system connected here uh, so we go simply into options and we select the external bells. Now the external bell dialog has got a discover ports option at the bottom right hand side here and if we click that it will tell us that our hardware is installed on COM6 and all we have to do now is select for each bell a mapping uh, by bell it means uh, if you have multiple transmitters installed you'll set each transmitter up on a bell and for us we need to have a data signal not one of the other options that are there uh, data also covers the Bagley interface and we then simply set the port number so in this case we set the port number to 6 and then there is a map to option and we're going to map that to the first bell everything else at this point on this screen uh, can stay the same if you only have one transmitter so if you're using the symbol system for training then you simply have to set one bell uh, so that you you can actually ring in the tower uh, one bell during your session if you have a permanent installation or you want to install on more than that then you simply set the COM port to number 6 and map to number 2, bell 3 again to 6 and map to 3 uh, so if we complete these map to 4 bell 5 COM port 6 we map that to bell number 5 and finally if we're in a six port six bell tower and we select the final bell to map to number six now that has made the connection between the sim bell receiver transmitters and the software but of course we need to set the sensor delays because the sim bell system works on bottom dead center uh, so to do that you click the sensor delay at the bottom now you may have already worked these out or you may need to have an untied bell and ring these to set them exactly uh, for your bells now one thing that is really important to note here is that the delays on able are set at a hundredth of a second in most of the other software these delays are set to a thousandth of a second uh, so if we have about a 200 millisecond delay which is common then we would set these delays to 20 not to 200 now if you set them to 200 then the delay between you pulling a rope and the bell sounding will be about two seconds um, so we can set these to whatever we need I'm just going to quickly set them all to two seconds of 
course you can type them in which may be a little quicker and we need to set this checkbox here that said able supplies the delays so it's not a multi-bell interface the Bagley multi-bell interface holds the delays actually in the hedge unit mounted in the belfry uh, the Symbell system doesn't so we want the software to apply the delays so we put a check in that box other things on here able does a pretty good job of ringing up and ringing down and the way it does that is by using timing for double clappering and here you can actually set the times at which the treble and the tenor uh, will start and stop double clappering uh, so you can get a, a really uh, pretty good simulator feel uh, for ringing down once you've done that we press apply and at that point we can click OK uh, which takes us back to the previous external bell screen and then we can click OK on that so we've now set up our Symbell system uh, to connect to Able so then we need to set the system to match the ringing we want to do now there's a few uh, options that are really really important here um, the first one to when you start the program you have an eight bell um, tower if you're in a six bell tower if you click open you can then you can then select the type of methods that you want to ring so if you're in a six bell tower and you want to ring five bell methods then you can select five bell and now you'll get the five bell methods so here we're now by default set to plain bob doubles we've got six bells so we're going to be uh, have a, a tenor behind now the other options that are really important on the ringing menu there is an option at the bottom here that says user start bell movement if that is checked then what will happen is when you get the signal from the sensor so when the signal arrives to say that the bell has passed bottom dead center at that point it will then start a delay within the software which makes it so that is the point at which you start to pull but of course you've already pulled the rope before that so when you're using external sensors it's really important that user starts bell movement is not checked uh, so that was a, a small gotcha uh, that may uh, you may find interesting right the um, the actual screen here you can see that we're in a crescent now when you set up the bells with the standard mappings as we've done so bell one maps to one in the sensors the bell that we ring will be the one on the right so currently that's bell number one if we wanted to ring bell number four then we would click on bell number four that moves to the right and that's now the one uh, that we will ring so you can select whichever bell you wish uh, within the software that will move to the right and that is the one that you're going to ring other setup options that you have here if you right click on any of the ropes you get the striking controls and this can be used uh, to set the uh, details of early and late striking on the hand stroke so if you have an issue with your bells and you want to make able exactly the same as ringing in your tower so if you have a bit of odd struckness uh, in your bells you can adjust these a little bit uh, just to make that um, make that distinction between each of the bells we're going to leave them uh, as they are you also have some other options in here the help file is is pretty comprehensive on these so if you go and have a look then uh, I'm sure you'll uh, be able to work those out so we've set up the symbol system to work we've set the external sensors we've set the delays I have a simulator uh, here now connected 
uh, I'm obviously not in a tower so when I press my simulation you can see that bell number three is the one that I'm ringing it's on the right if I want to reset I press F4 on my keyboard and I can then say if I want to ring bell number five that's now the bell uh, that we're ringing now this is the default view on the screen if you want to have ringers so real people ringing uh, you can go to options and look at the print screen options now there's some more bits and pieces in here we've got moving ropes at the moment we can have moving ringers and while we're in here there is another setup option uh, which is the striking point for the moving bell ringers if you are using rope site or you want to uh, practice using rope site within the tower uh, you can adjust the strike point so when the rope uh, the hand stroke goes down and back up at what point the bell actually sounds on the graphical display you can adjust here on in our tower we had to reduce this to about 65 um, but 70% seems to be pretty good so when we click OK now we end up with uh, our moving ringers and they will operate uh, in exactly the same way as the ropes so that concludes the setup of Simbel with the ABLE system. There is, as I say, a comprehensive help file. And good luck with your ringing.